We don't try to sell things that people don't need. You know, a lot of other stores will say, oh, you need this, you need this, you need this. It's like, no, 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 no. I know, I understand where you're at and what you're doing and how much you can afford. This will work for you. Yeah, when we first opened the store, we had, uh, we had very much a similar uh, inventory, but it was very different at the same time. And what the inventory that we have now is because of the customers who've come through the door. Probably one of the, the, the best partnerships that our store has um, is with the Swan Noah Gathering out at Warren Wilson College. We have grown with it and it has grown with us. We not only are providing something to the gathering, but we are exposed to the best musicians in those genres there and they are the ones telling us what we should carry. And so a lot of what we have in the store has been recommended to us by the teaching staff and the students at the gathering. That means that when musicians come to this area, they come to this store, they know that we're going to have the right stuff. We have people every day coming in here and are just amazed that we have some particular pick or some kind of shoulder rest for violin. And um, when I look out there in the pop world, I think, oh, we are in such a small niche. We are such a throwback. And yet the people who come in here just think we're the best. You know, this town, I love it. This is the kind of town where if, if one customer leaves their purse in one shop, the shop owner will remember that that person said they were going to another shop and they'll call that shop and say, hey, when that person gets there, tell her her purse is still here. It's that kind of thing. We, we look after each other. And I think that's the other thing that small businesses can do, which is they can find the right people to work for them and pay them well and treat them well and you become a family and you work together and this store has grown because of them as much as us. And um, you know, I think that's how it ought to be. I wish all businesses were like that. You know, I don't think anybody in Black Mountain gets rich, but we all get happy. I think that's the important thing to remember is that you live here because you want to be here, because you want to live in a small town, you want to own a business and you like people. But everybody I know who owns a business here lives fairly modestly, comfortably but modestly. No one is making a fortune, but we're all really happy. We're all pretty satisfied with life and that's the way it really ought to be.